Now, the 20 years John Delante spent in London as Ireland's head of mission here were among the most eventful years in the history of our diplomatic relations with the UK. He arrived here shortly before the election of the uh, de Valera Fianna Fáil government in uh, 1932, and that led to a period of some difficulty in relations between Ireland and the UK, and resulted in the economic war, uh, which came about because the two governments disagreed over the question of the payment of land annuities. And this resulted in the uh, tit-for-tat imposition of tariffs by both of our governments, which affected trade between us. At that time, Ireland was far more dependent on uh, the British market than it would be today. John Delante was also involved in the run-up to the Anglo-Irish Agreement of 1938, which uh, brought the so-called economic war to an end, and also uh, involved the return to Irish control of the four ports that had been retained by Britain under the terms of the Anglo-Irish Treaty of 1921. And the return of those so-called treaty ports enabled Ireland to remain neutral during the uh, Second World War. And the period between 1939 and 1945 was a very difficult period in British-Irish relations. And all of John Delante's skills and connections at the highest levels of the British system were very much required to smooth relations between de Valera's government in Dublin and Churchill's government here. Delante had, of course, uh, known Winston Churchill, and that was a big advantage in being able to explain the position of the Irish government. He was then here in the, the post-war period for the rebuilding of uh, British-Irish relations following the difficulties experienced during the Second World War and the disagreements over neutrality. And then, of course, he uh, ended up uh, serving the first uh, coalition government. And when Ireland uh, declared itself a republic, uh, Delante became our first ambassador to the UK. And uh, he um, served in that position for a few months before he retired in 1950.